personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game is missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. So, um, one of the fights that I know I really want to see the most in the sport right now would be Darren Rodriguez versus Sonny Edwards. They're, they're both top fighters. They're both, like, when I think of the, the, the little men in boxing, little men being any anything south of featherweight, so anything below 126, I, I consider the little men of boxing. Um, those are two of the premier best fighters in the division around those weights. So, and to me, it's one of the best fights in boxing that could even be made in any weight class. You know, me, Rick Lazer, I've talked about it a lot. Now, we know this weekend, Bam Rodriguez is fighting for a vacant title. He's fighting for the vacant vacant WBO uh, flyweight title against Christian Gonzalez. You know, he's fighting every Gonzalez on earth, known the man. He's fighting Israel Gonzalez, or he fought Israel Gonzalez. He's fighting Christian Gonzalez, but he won't fight Roman Chalatito Gonzalez. And, 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 and it, it begs the question of, why is he fighting Eric Gonzalez but Chocolatito? You know, it's just it's that that's 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 ridiculous enough in itself. But then, but then, you know, okay, let's just put that aside. Let's just like not even use that against Bam. Right? He's at one twelve. There's still great fights to be made. Most notably with the aforementioned Sonny Edwards. Now, you would be you would, you would like to think in a in a nice, perfect, and just world that. Bam would have the common decency to come to 112, win the vacant title, and then attempt to unify with the WBC champion, Sonny Edwards. But uh, apparently that's not what's happening. That's not what's about to happen according to Sonny Edwards because uh, he had some tweets that came out recently and he pretty much said that uh, he accepted the Bam fight. And by the way, I know I, I made a video about it, but Sonny Edwards signed the matchroom boxing along with Jack Catterall. That has set a video for a separate day. But... He's with Eddie Hearn now, so the fight's very makeable. And apparently the fight, there was a contract for the fight. He said that he accepted his side of the contract. And um, now, not less than 24 hours later, uh, he's been told no. And uh, they're going to go a different direction. So, Robert Garcia was also did an interview, which is Bam's trainer. Robert Garcia did an interview, and he pretty much stated that, listen, like, Bam is going to fight Christian Gonzalez. He's successful at flyweight. He's going to get this title so he can become a two-division champion, vacate the belt, and then go back to 115, and then go try to uh, negotiate a fight with uh, Guy Estrada. That's, that's, that's where they're looking to go. That's, where they're, that's the route they're looking to go. And if that's the route they're looking to go, then, man, what a disgrace. What an absolute disgrace. Bam Rodriguez is ducking Sonny Edwards. And I don't blame him. I don't, if he is ducking Sonny Edwards, I, I sure as hell don't blame him. Sonny Edwards is, is is pound for pound, arguably the best defensive fighter in boxing today. He, he's hard as hell to hit. He's fast as heck. He he's he, he can do it for 12 rounds. He doesn't get tired. Um, he's an accurate puncher. He talks a lot of shit. I mean, he's a really, really, genuinely a top fighter. Like he's he he's got the kind of style that would really give Bam my biggest problems. You know, because if you look at guys like Quadras and Run with side when Bam fought them. Not only were they, not only could you say that they were more on the back nine towards the end of their careers, but these were also fighters that more so they like to sit there and fight. As to where with Sonny Edwards, he's a he's a he's a stylist. He's a guy that likes to be on the outside, box, slip, move, maneuver, make you miss, make you pay. You know, he's really, really. When you talk about the sweet science of boxing, you know, he's one of the guys I think about in boxing today when I think about that term. So. Um, Match him has big plans for him. Eddie, Eddie Hearn and not even just Eddie Hearn, but more so Tekken Promotions. They got plans for him to become this big star. And finding a guy like Sonny Edwards might ruin all that. Because listen, Sonny Edwards, you can say what you want about him. The one, you, one thing you can't say about Sonny Edwards is, is that he's not a legit champion. In fact, I would say he's one of the most legit champions in boxing today. Because uh, I saw a stat. I saw a stat. And um, I think it was uh, that, that website, bo Box.Live. Box.Live put, put out a stat of um, the most active champions in boxing. And Sonny Edwards was the fifth, I believe, the fifth act, most active champion. He fights about once every 235 days, which really is not. He should still be fighting more than that, but it kind of shows you kind of like where the state of boxing is. He's, he's, he's the fifth most um, active champion. He also happens to be the seventh youngest champion in boxing. So, you know, consistency 
uh, as far as activity, consistency as far as performance. You know, there's a big reason why Bam Rodriguez ain't eager to fight him and why his management ain't eager to fight him because he, he could F around and really expose Bam in ways that he hasn't been exposed yet. And Bam is a, a damn good fighter, so I I, I just, why, why are they trying to do this Canelo Alvarez like shucking and jiving through weight classes? Like, no, this is the lower weight classes. Like, Bam Rodriguez, you know, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quote my boy Jairo. Bam Rodriguez is a good fighter, but he's fighting in arenas. He His last fight against Rungwasai, and I think even this week, I could be wrong, but I think this week he's fighting at the Techport Arena. And they only seat a thousand people. I mean, it's not a big venue, so like he's not this big star. They're trying to make him one. But my thing is, in this weight class, you don't make stars by marinating. You don't make stars by maneuvering and whatnot. You can't do that. You make stars in these weight class by making the best fight the best. And one of the best fights to get made is Sonny Edwards versus Bam Rodriguez. And truth be told, I like Bam. I think he's a top fighter. But truth be told, if he's going to go up to 115 after he just, like, left 115 to fight Gallo when he should have been fighting Roman Gonzalez, it's a duck. It's, he's ducking Sonny Edwards. I mean, because to me, I take it as a disrespect. Sonny Edwards is, like, one of the top guys at 112. Like, he's he's the complete opposite of what Bam is. That fight is offense versus defense. A great offensive fighter against a great defensive fighter. It's, what, it's the kind of style matchup that boxing has been built upon for years. And by not taking the fight, it's just uh, it's nothing short of uh, absolutely disgraceful. So um, I'll wait and see before I really go off on Bam the way I, I want to. But um, from, the way, from the way Robert Garcia is talking, it looks like they're going to get this title against Christian Gonzalez. Vacate the title so he can be called a two division champion. Go back to 115 and make make a fight between him and Gaio and try to pick off another one of the old guard at 115, rather than fighting one of the younger, fresher guys like Sonny Edwards, which I think would be a much better fight. So, make that what you will. What do you guys think about this? Uh, leave your comments down below. It looks like Dan Rodriguez turned down the Sonny Edwards fight after Sonny accepted his side of the fight. So uh, yeah, leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. Like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from Daniel. So until next time, take care guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.